Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making oven cooked Mediterranean mushroom spaghetti. So let's get started. For this recipe I'm using a 2 quart baking dish or about 1.9 litres. And in the bottom of this I've got some chopped up tomatoes that I'm putting in. So about 400 grams worth there. Just spread those evenly. Next I've got one tablespoon of tamari or you could use soy sauce or Bragg's aminos as well. Three teaspoons of capers. Again, just spread those evenly. Next I'm adding in 200 grams of spaghetti that I've just broken in half just so it fits into this dish. And the one I'm using today is gluten free, but it's totally up to you which spaghetti you want to use for this. So by layering it this way, you've got nice moist ingredients on the bottom, your pasta in the middle, and then we'll layer these extra ingredients on top. So going in is some freshly sliced garlic. So I've got two cloves worth chopped up there. Two teaspoons of dried herbs. About one fourth of a teaspoon of ground fresh pepper. One fourth cup of pine nuts. And again, a fourth or quarter of a cup of sliced black olives and 200 grams of sliced mushrooms going on top of here. Again, just try to spread them as evenly as you can. Next, I'm going to pour on 500 ml of vegetable stock. So this is salted and we'll give it a very, very delicious flavor. And then finally, I've just got one lemon that I've sliced up and I'm just going to lay that across the top It'll just stop those mushrooms from getting burnt in the oven and it'll infuse a nice lemon flavor as well. Okay. So that's it. This is ready to go into a preheated oven set to 190 degrees Celsius or about 380 degrees Fahrenheit and cook this for about half an hour or so. Okay, so this has been in the oven for about 30 minutes. And what I like to do at this stage is just take off all of these pieces of lemon and then just give this a bit of a stir through. Just try to separate that spaghetti a little bit. It does tend to clump together when it's cooking. And then once that's stirred through, just make sure all the bits of spaghetti are under that liquid again. And then just pop it into the oven for another five or 10 minutes and this is ready to eat. And it smells so yum. I'm really looking forward to having this for my lunch. Mm -mm. Pop it back in. Mm. So this has been in the oven for another five minutes and I'm so hungry. It smells so delicious and it's ready to eat. So easy, just a one pot dish that you put in the oven, leave it in there, give it a quick stir through and it's done. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Remember you can print it off my website at cookingwithplants.com and also follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Cooking With Plants. And I look forward to seeing some of your photos of when you recreate these delicious recipes. And I have to give this a taste test because it just smells divine. It's going to be super hot though. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Yum. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you for the next recipe. Bye for now. Mmm. -mm -mm.